Hey everybody, Robin Williams here, and this uh, pre-calculus lesson is on the unit circle. Uh, just beginning on this, so let's take care of the board problem first. Okay, we're going to find the values of the six trig functions. So i got to do the Pythagorean theorem right here uh, to get this side right here. So I did that on this next slide right here, uh, and I get uh, 3 root uh, 55. And I'm looking for the six trig functions with angle L. So the sine of angle L would be opposite over hypotenuse, 9 over 24 reduces to 3 eighths. Okay, the cosine would be adjacent over hypotenuse, so 3 root 55 over 24, uh, and then the 3 and the 24 cancel each other. And then there's the tangent of that, uh, opposite uh, 9 over the adjacent right there. And so you get 3 over root 55, and then you multiply it by root 55 over root 55, okay? And then the other uh, three trig ratios are just uh, the reciprocal. So the cosecant is the reciprocal of sine, the secant is the reciprocal of cosine, and cotangent is the reciprocal of tangent. Alrighty, so, uh, okay, so now here, if the, if the cosine of theta is 2 ninths, then the secant is the reciprocal, 9 halves. And if the sine is 0.525, then the cosecant is the reciprocal, so 1.905. Alright, so let's go ahead and uh, the unit circle is a unit means 1, so it's a circle that has radius 1. Alright, that's why it's called the unit circle. So draw a circle with radius 1 centered at the origin of an xy axis. So there uh, there that is right there. Okay, and so we're going to consider, so there's my unit circle with radius 1, and consider an angle uh, between 0 and 90. So here's an angle between 0 and 90, angle theta right there. This angle right here is between 0 and 90, because this would be 90 all the way up to there. All right, and there's my radius 1 right there. And then let uh, P of XY be the point on that outer spot right there. So there's my point XY, okay? And then, so, um, uh, draw, now draw a perpendicular segment from P to the x-axis. There it is right there. And notice your x and y. Okay, x is how far I went over, y is how far I went up. And can you see a right triangle? I can do the sine, cosine, and tangent of those of angle theta right there. Okay, so according to the Pythagorean theorem, this side squared plus this side squared equals 1 squared. Okay, so x squared plus y squared equals 1. Also, the sine of theta is going to be um, opposite over hypotenuse, which is y over 1, which is just y. So the sine of theta equals y, and the cosine of theta equals x. So since x squared and x is cosine, then I can replace x squared for cosine squared. And since sine is y, then y squared becomes sine squared. So sine squared plus cosine squared equals 1. Your book usually writes it as sine squared plus cosine squared equals 1. Okay, so write that down. That's the most, one of the most important uh, Pythagorean identities uh, that we have in pre-calculus. And so remember, cosine equals x and sine equals y. So in addition to sine and cosine, the other four trig functions can be found by reciprocating those. Your tangent is uh, uh, opposite over hypotenuse, which is y over x. Your tangent is always y over x, sine over cosine. Okay, your cotangent over here is the reciprocal of that, so it's x over y. So this would be cosine over sine. Okay, the secant is the reciprocal of uh, cosine, and since cosine equals x, then the secant is 1 over x. And similarly, the cosecant is 1 over y, because it's the reciprocal of sine. So uh, we're going to use the unit circle to find each value. Okay, so find the cosine of negative 180. All right, so here's negative 180. Oh, whoops, it goes this way. Negative is clockwise, so negative 180 is over here. So remember, this is uh, x, this is y, or this is cosine, and this is sine. So the cosine out here, this is negative 180 from here to here. This is my cosine. The cosine is negative 1. The sine is 0. Okay, so the cosine of negative 180 is, is negative 1. The sine of, I'm sorry, the cosine of positive 180 is also negative 1 right there. All right, so, um, so the secant of 90. Okay, here's 90 right there. This is cosine sine. Secant is the reciprocal of cosine, and since the cosine is zero, the reciprocal of zero is undefined. Okay, so uh, the secant of 90 is an undefined answer, because that's the same as the, the reciprocal of zero. Oh, excuse me, I had to stretch. Okay, so find the sine of negative 90. Okay, here's negative 90 down here. This is cosine, this is sine. So the sine of negative 90 is the reciprocal of negative 1, which is negative 1. Cotangent, here's 270, 270 is this way, cotangent is x over y, so x over y, so 0 over negative 1 is 0, okay? 
All right, so use the given circle to find the six trig functions for the given angle. Okay, so the sine of 135. Okay, we need our reference angle. So there's 135, you guys, and we need our reference angle. Our reference angle is the other angle off of the x-axis right there. So my reference angle is uh, 45 degrees. Okay, because this is 180 from here to here. This is 180, so I take 180 minus 135. Okay, so 45 and 45, if I draw a little right triangle right there, remember the radius is 1. Whatever this side is, this side is. So if this is x, this is x right there. So x squared plus x squared equals 1 squared by the, by the Pythagorean theorem. So 2x squared equals 1. So divide by 2, I get x squared equals 1 half. So x is plus or minus the square root of 1 half, which is the same as root 2 over root 2. So this ordered pair right here becomes negative root 2 over 2, comma, positive root 2 over 2. Okay, negative root 2 over 2 positive root 2 over 2. They're the same. It's an isosceles right triangle. So now I can do the sine cosines of tangents. This is my angle right here. Now it's going to be the sine of uh, this angle right here. So the sine of that angle is uh, uh, opposite over hypotenuse. So root 2 over 2 over 1. The cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. So this is negative root 2 over 2 over 1. So it's negative root 2 over 2. Whoops, I forgot to uh, finish doing uh, my little radical sign right there. Let me finish that off. Okay, and then the tangent is uh, opposite over hypotenuse. So root 2 over 2 over negative root 2 over 2, and so it's uh, negative 1 on that one. Okay, and then reciprocate those, and those are going to be the cosecant, the secant, and the, and the cotangent. Okay, there's cosecant, there's secant, and cotangent right there. I just reciprocated those. All right. Okay, so 210, okay, so I'm going to draw 210 degrees right there. There's 210, so my reference angle is always off the x-axis. So I'm going to draw a little 30, 60, 90 triangle right there. So that, remember, this angle, this is 30 right there, so I just drew that over here. That's 30. So if that's 1, then the shorter leg is half of that, and the longer leg is root 3 times the shorter leg. So there's my right triangle. The sine is opposite over hypotenuse, 1 half over 1, which is 1 half, and it's negative. Uh, because it's, there are negatives down there. So this is actually negative one half, and this is actually negative root three over two. Okay, so the sine is negative one half. The cosine is um, uh, negative adjacent over hypotenuse right there. So negative root three over two. And the tangent is uh, opposite over the adjacent right there, and they're both negatives. So I get one over root three, which is root three over, over three, and it's positive. And then to reciprocate all those, and those are my cosecants, secants, and cotangents right there. Okay, uh, you can also use your trig ratios without the unit circle, as in our next example right there. So find the values of this for the six trig functions for the angle that's in standard position, which means that it starts on the x-axis and it goes to the terminal side of this ordered pair, 5, comma, negative 12. So let's go ahead and graph 5, negative 12 over 5, down 12. And then so my reference angle is always off the x-axis. This is always my reference angle, okay? Here's the angle right here, and so my reference angle is right here, and I'm, I'm looking for that right there. Actually, I'm not looking for that. And then I, I just do uh, the sine of angle theta would be this over hypotenuse. The cosine would be adjacent over hypotenuse. So i got to figure out the hypotenuse with the Pythagorean theorem. You get 13. So here we go. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse to negative 12 over 13. The cosine is adjacent, so 5 over hypotenuse, 5 over 13. The tangent is opposite negative 12 over adjacent 5. Okay, and then reciprocate those, and those are my cosecants, secants, and cotangents. Okay, do the same with this one. Okay, I'm going to go to the left 15, up 20. Got to do the Pythagorean theorem and figure out that's 25, and then there you go with the rest of them right there. Okay? Okay, so suppose angle theta is in standard position whose terminal side lies in quadrant 3. Uh, if the sine is negative 4 fifths, find the values of the, So this is the same problem, you guys. So go to the left 4, and then the remember, the sine is uh, opposite over hypotenuse, so this hypotenuse must be 5. So that means this is going to be negative 3. Ooh, excuse me for my, for my yawning. I'm so ex such excitement here. Okay, so I used my Pythagorean theorem, and then there's my 6 trig ratios after I did that right there.